Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today we're going to talk about how to set up an Ethernet bus decode. So here we have our Ethernet cable and you can see we've spliced it and soldered some leads so that we can probe our cable. This solid orange wire on the left is our negative, while the striped orange wire on the right is our positive. And we are going to connect our Ethernet cable between two devices so that we can decode some live data. And because our Ethernet consists of twisted pairs using differential signaling, we are going to use the Tektronix Differential Probe TDP500. And as we can see, our probe itself has several features such as voltage range, bandwidth limit, DC reject, and menu. But for now, we will only be concerned with voltage range. We can see we have the options of 4.25V and 42V peak amplitude. Since our signal falls within the 4.25V range, we will want to adjust our probe as such. Note that it's not 100% necessary to do this, but as always, proper practice is going to assure that our data is as accurate as possible. And if we look closely at our probe heads, we can see that they're labeled positive and negative, and as always, we want to match polarity. And now we can proceed with our setup. From a default setup, switch our probe range to 4.25 volts, and let's increase our record length to 1 million, just for some added resolution. If we raise our trigger level in single acquisition, it may be incredibly difficult to see, but there is a peak here causing us to sort of false trigger. So let's try lowering our trigger level below zero in single acquisition. And there, we can see we haven't captured all of our signal, but at least we have our signal now. So now all we have to do is adjust our vertical and horizontal scale and position accordingly until we can see a nice full view of our waveform. And select single acquisition one more time, and now we have a nice full view of our waveform. Now we can select our bus B1, and we'll just move it down here below the waveform, and then select our bus type as Ethernet. Now we can define our inputs. Type, we are using 10 base T, and if we zoom in, we can get a better look at our data values. Signal type will remain differential since we are using a differential probe. Differential allows us to select our source, which will remain channel 1. We could also use two single-ended probes, in which our signal type would be single-ended and our differentials D plus and D minus as our source channels. Select threshold, and because Ethernet is a tri-level signal, we have both high and low thresholds, and we want our high threshold to be above the middle of the signal, while our low threshold is below the middle of the signal. We can choose whether or not we want to use IP version 4. We can also edit our labels. We can edit our bus display to show bus or bus and waveforms. And if we select single acquisition and then zoom in, we can see a better representation of this data. We also have our event table. If we turn that on, we can look at specific events throughout the waveform. Now if we go into our trigger menu, we can see that we can also trigger on various bus conditions. And you can see they're all a little different and they allow us to trigger on specific data or addresses, etc. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.